Amen. Let's recap. What have we been studying the last couple weeks? Mm. Abraham. Abraham. Isaac. Isaac. <laughs> Genesis chapter 20. What happened? You say 20? Mm -hmm. mm. God miraculously preserved the seed. All right. Chapter 21. What Birth happened? of Isaac. Birth of Isaac. What was special about that? He was Sarah the, was ninety, and he was. It was a miracle. It was a miracle. Yeah. What is that? What does that point to? What does that typify as, uh, as far as Isaac's birth? The miracle of Christ's birth in Israel at the time, because Israel was barren. Right. Right. The miraculous birth of Christ. Chapter twenty-two. What took place? Um, Isaac. Abraham Isaac tested. Almost sacrifice. Almost sacrifice. No, he was willing to sacrifice. The offering of Isaac. Which, do it. Actually, there's. I would, never mind. All right, we're going to look at uh, in chapter 23. We see the death and burial of Sarah. Chapter 24, a bride for Isaac. Mm -hmm. Chapter 25, Abraham gets remarried. Last week we finished up chapter 21 and, and looked at 22, the offering of Isaac. And we've looked at that several times in this class, so we're going to keep on going. But I'm, before we get to chapter 23, there's some interesting verses at the end of 22. Let's read uh, chapter 22, verse 15 through the rest of the, uh, the chapter. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, says the Lord... Because you've done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, that in blessing I will bless you, and in multiplying I will multiply your seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. That's real important. Mm -hmm. Don't just read. Don't just think that God's just trying to tell Abraham that his seed won't be numbered. The stars of heaven and the sand of the seashore. Yeah. There's a heavenly and mm -hmm. there's an earthly. And your seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. What does that mean? They will rule over their enemies. They will rule over your enemies. Your, your seed, you and your seed will be established at the top. You will not be the bottom. Right. Okay, so uh, verse 18. And in your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, mm. because you have obeyed my voice. Now, I want you to know something this morning. God didn't call Abraham out and create the nation of Israel so God could save the nation of Israel and that'd be it. God called Abraham out. He, he, Isaac, Jacob, and you know, Jacob's 12th son. He created the nation of Israel so that the earth could be blessed through them. <coughs> uh... The idea that, you know, only Jews could get saved in the old... No, that's... Anybody could get saved at any point in time in any time of history. God was going to use the nation of Israel to evangelize, the, to bless the world. Unfortunately, the nation of Israel never really fully obeyed God and was put in the position uh, and condition where God could do what He wanted to through them. All right. So he said, in your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because you've obeyed my voice. Now, interesting verses. So Abraham returned to his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, she hath also borne children unto your brother Nabor, Huz his firstborn, and Buzz his brother, and Kemuel, the father of Aram, and Chesed, and Hazo, and Pildash, and Jiblaf, and Bethuel. And Bethuel beget Rebekah. These eight Milcah did bear to Nahor, Abraham's brother, and his concubine, whose name was Ruma, she bare also Teba, and Gema, and Bahash, and Makkah. You did that pretty well. Thank you. <laughs> Boring, right? 
That's the boring. That's the stuff we just skip right over. Mm. That, that, you know, why would God? Here, God's telling this awesome story. I mean, here we got, you know, Sarah's having a baby when she's ninety years old. You know, it's a miracle. Then, then Abraham's taking his only son up here on the mountain and gonna sacrifice him. And then he gets him. It goes back to the boring stuff. Why is it? Why? Why? Why does he want us to know the names of these? Lineages. Why? Yeah, well, think, why? Think about well, this. Rebecca was in there. Yeah. Rebecca was in there. That's big. That's big. <laughs> That's big. But think about something. Let's look at that. We're looking at this as, as a uh, dispensational uh, story. Okay, so if we look at it from, okay, we have the birth of Isaac, birth of Christ. We have the offering of Isaac, the offering of, and resurrection of Christ, because not only did Isaac go up to the mountain, mm -hmm. Isaac returned. Right. So you have death and resurrection, and then all of a sudden you get all these uh, uh, names and, and whatnot. What happened after the uh, after the offering, the death and resurrection of Christ? Acts chapter two. Many were saved. Many were saved. Mm. Many came into the family of God. What's t what's the Bible telling us about right here? Abraham's family. Yeah. Increased. It's growing. Mm. After the death and resurrection of Isaac, Abraham's family. First of all, God tells Abraham, hey, I'm going to bless you and your seed. You're going to have a heavenly seed. You're going to have an earthly, you know, the heavenly and the earthly. <coughs> Your, your, uh, through your seed, the whole nation, all the nations of the earth will be blessed, and then his family just starts growing. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we're going to look at this here in a couple, uh, probably, maybe, is it next week? Yeah, next week we're going to start looking at chapter 24, the bride for Isaac. Where does the bride come from? Back in the family. In the family. Did Abraham send his servant to the world, to, to the Gentile, to the Canaanites, and say, go out there and find me my, my son a bride? He made him promise not to. Made him promise not to. Now, are all these family members uh, going to marry Isaac? Only Rebecca. Remember we talked about uh, we talked about that back with Adam and Eve. Where did Eve come from? From Adam's rib. Part Matt, of Adam. Did 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 he take Adam's whole body, or did he just take a small part? Small part. Is Rebecca does Rebecca represent the whole family? We're going to look at body that. of believers. Body of believers. Does part Rebecca of, represent the whole body of believers? No, just one small part. Just one small part. We're yeah. going to look at that here uh, probably next week. So uh, that's the end of chapter 22. Don't ever, don't, and, and that bothered me I, for, why did God throw this, I mean, just, I mean, names. Why does God throw that stuff in if they're there for a reason? <coughs> All Scripture is inspired by God and profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and instruction in righteousness, so that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished to all good works. Even the genealogies. Mm. What is that, that verse again? That is uh, First Timothy, First Timothy, or second? I think it's Second Timothy three sixteen. Maybe okay. First Timothy. Isn't it? Okay. It's one of the Timothy's 316. Is that good enough? That's good enough. Okay. God calls Abraham. And, uh, and, and he's going to create a nation out of Abraham. Uh, turn to Exodus, I believe it's chapter 10. Exodus chapter 4. 